Hey, don't know how you found me, but it's me, Van, and welcome to part three of Witch's Heart. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been a minute. I kind of have a new work schedule and then had to find a work around that. My sincere apologies. I am so sorry that this has taken so long. This is probably the slowest playthrough known to man, but I do want to fix that because I really want to get back into this and actually make a dent in this game. <laughs> this is only like two parts in out of who knows how many we're gonna have so yeah let's get back into it and as usual content warnings will be in the description so please check those out if you need to also thank you so much to anyone who commented and was just checking up on me that's really sweet and i didn't really get to those because when i'm not active and uploading on this channel i do not really use it so sorry if that just worried you guys even more um, but I am here, I am well, and I really appreciate you guys sticking around. But anyway, let's just, uh, get back into it. <laughs> According to one of you guys, helping out the demons and stuff is a very prominent theme in this game, and might take up a big chunk of my gameplay, and so, <laughs> to not bore you guys, I most likely will edit it out, unless, you know, it's something new or kind of interesting. Um... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'll have much engaging commentary to say while I'm running around, but you never know. How about we try giving the water to this guy? I don't really know if it'll do anything, but we'll do it. Uh-huh. How about the plant? Yeah, you know, <laughs> that makes like a billion times more sense wahee <laughs> big and strong let's go let's go i'm i don't know you know what no one talked to me that is so embarrassing oh i can climb up oh where am i going oh <gasps> what Is this the same place as earlier? What is- <gasps> What is this? There's a strange design drawn on it. What? What does it mean? I don't understand. Okay, what is this building? Oh. I can't go in. Cool. Those plants outside the cabin are such a nuisance, right? If only they would just burn away. Hint. Wink. Huh? Burn away? What are you talking about? <laughs> Weirdo. Why would I do that? <laughs> um. Okay. Interesting. Now, I don't know what to do about this, but let's go in here. Oh. My god. This little goofy music, please. <laughs> this is so cute. You see? Thingies outside. Pretty sparkly, shiny bugs. What? Huh? These cold fireflies? I want! Hey, I want it! You are so cute! I wanna grab ya. Is this implying that... Nope, let's dump it out. Okay. So maybe we can catch them with the bottle? Where are they, little firefly? You. Aw, uh, cute. Okay. So, I got you a firefly. D I d but I did it. I caught it. <laughs> oh, no. That's fine. No, really, it's fine. What? And then I let it go? But why? No, that's... That's evil. Cause, so, I catch it, and then I press space to get out of the little text window, and I guess it 
it registers the prompt as me letting it go. Which is evil. I just wanted a little firefly. Hmm. I, I guess I'll try again. What if I just catch it and let the thing disappear on its own? There's no way. Oh! I don't know, is that like a weird game design choice? I ended up pushing the menu button to exit out and not lose the firefly? I- I don't know. Yep. This... so pretty! Thanks a lot! <laughs> You're welcome, little guy. You are my little meow meow. I love you a lot. I will keep you safe. If anything happens to you, I will be sad. Wait, what if I gave him a firefly? Is that something I can do? Okay, good. This is bad, this is bad. I was going to make stew, okay. There you go. No? That did absolutely nothing. No! Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> you would think that the dash would help me avoid the little creatures, but actually makes it harder for me to do that. Yep, here you go. Yay, we did it. We are pure of heart. Do I get a reward? For my- for my utmost kindness. For I am Claire Alford, and I am the most selfless being in this game. Surely I should be compensated for all my hard work. Oh, okay, okay, stuff is happening. Well, it's getting late. I should probably get to bed. What? Oh, it's you. <laughs> That's cool. Hello. Oh, she's cute though. Mwah, she's adorable. She's kind of scrunkly. Look at her. Look at the I like her little poncho hoodie thing. And the like one the one ear missing. That's cute. That's adorable. Oh. I'm sure she didn't mean it when she was trying to kill us earlier. <laughs> Um. <laughs> good evening. I don't know why I gave her an accent. Y you're relax. I don't intend to harm you anymore. Not the Victorian child. <laughs> I wish. Oh my God! <laughs> what voice did I give her? I wish you'd refrain from acting out of turn. I know, boss. I just wanted to scare her a little. You two know each other? Yeah. Oh no. What is this? Greetings. I'm the junior... <laughs> <laughs> I cannot make voices today. I'm the junior demon Charlotte. Nice to meet you again. D demon Yep, like my elder Sizel there. I'm a demon just the same. By the way, Sizel. Si Fuck! It's the way I had to train myself to remember to say Sizel, and then I went back to Sizel just then. This is <laughs> this is a day. This is a day, you guys. By the way, Sizel. I sure hope you can find that lost contract quick. Yes, indeed. If you're having trouble, Charlie can help out any time. No, that's quite all right. But thanks for offering. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, uh <laughs> goodbye? Uh, uh... She wanted to help, so, I mean... Can't she help us look for the contract? No. Frankly, 
I never quite understand what she's thinking. Hmm, interesting. Player. Yes? What is it? Keep an eye out for Charlotte. Uh, I understand. Good Goodbye. Great. My girl just wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> she already has so much to worry about. Oh, hello. Claire. I do hope you'll start searching for that contract in earnest tomorrow. Y yes Understood! <laughs> but man, we still couldn't get out today. Are things going to be okay like this? Um, oh, oh dear. I guess worrying won't do anything. Time to sleep. Good night. Oh, I love her. <laughs> she is an icon. Oh, how cute. Don't mind if I do. Day three. What will occur on this lovely day? Oh. Uh, uh, mumble. Mumble. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to say that. Uh, something smells good. Huh? What? What? What's this? It's so cute! How wonderful! Unbelievable! Unbelievably, that dreamy fairy tale world I aspire to was there before my eyes. How? Why exactly am I in such a place? No! 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 Who cares about that? First things first, I'm gonna have that tasty cake over there. <laughs> I'm gonna dig in! I don't even know what sound I was supposed to make. No, no. <laughs> you poor thing. Are we going to Ash? Let's go! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My problematic fave? He hasn't done anything yet, but I just know it. Alright! Time for another day of work. Cool. That's great. <laughs> um, this'll be cool, this'll be nice. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna... Well, let's do our morning routine. Gotta do that. Cool. You know, that's a great start to anyone's day. If you don't have a little, like, you know, a moment in the bathroom, what's the point? What's this? Apologies, I'll be asleep until evening again. Please don't wake me. Noel. I mean, I'm not complaining I don't have to do another voice. <laughs> okay. So, we're good. Are we meant to go eat breakfast with everyone? Please say yes. No? What? Oh, hi! Oh, good morning. Thanks for yesterday, but I'll make breakfast today. That was a weird delivery. Thank you, Miss Claire. But I rather like to cook, so I'll be all too glad to handle it. No, no, that won't do at all. I can't put all the burden on you, Ash. Anyway, just leave it to me. That's really not necessary, honest. That's so sweet. Okay, so nothing to do here yet. But we are gonna eat breakfast, so that's good. If anything happens to interrupt breakfast, oh, I will be mad. Oh, that's so cute. What is... What? So I missed that earlier. I saw that earlier as Claire, but I had no idea what that meant. Am I meant to do some of the demon quests um, as other characters? Like, for example, the chef that needs the ingredients. Is it one of those things that I can only do when playing as Ash, maybe? 
I guess let's just talk to every- Oh! Hello. I- I don't remember what voice I gave him. I think I just, like, like, edgy, lower. What are you doing there? <sighs> Nothing. Well, this is awkward. Hmm... Okay. Can I talk to him? No, nope. I certainly can't. That's cool. That wasn't weird at all. Um, Claire? Help me out here. Mmm. It's smelling good. Uh-huh. That's cool. Let's go to my room. Oh, yep. That was right. Huh? Oh? Oh dear, how careless of me. I dropped something. Mm-hmm. This article is... Huh? Hmm, <laughs> weird. Ash, breakfast is ready. Okay, I'll be right there. Hmm. Oh. Why are you eating a piece of bread with a knife and fork, honey? <laughs> I think that's a piece of bread. If if not, then I'm the silly one. I see. The mayor, Nicholas. Is the name just a coincidence? No, it's not only the name. His face is quite similar as well. Could they be... blood-related? <laughs> Very suspicious. Mm-hmm. Hello! Good day! Miss Claire! No, they're cute. What are you reading there? Ah, it's a newspaper article. On an incident Dorothy caused 12 years ago. Her biggest one, in fact. A newspaper article? Miss Claire, you know rather little about Dorothy, correct? Want to read it? I suppose. I'm a little interested. Here, go right ahead. Take a look. Ugh. The, this is illegible. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Huh? World-famous singer Patricia Millers commits suicide at 32? Not at her prime. She'll never be a MILF now. Uh, Miss Claire, that's not the focus here. And completely the wrong article, too. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry! Patricia. Well, nah. I guess it's totally an ordinary name. Oh. Oh, like, like the, the friend. Besides, if she was age 32, obviously that has to be somebody else. Claire's like 20-something, right? Hmm. Massacre by Witch, 26 found dead. June 16th. The witch orchestrated a mass murder at a mansion in the Rebecca Mountains. The victims were the mayor of Rebecca, as well as the 25 listed below. Nearly all of the bodies were mutilated to such an extent as to be unrecognizable. Some were torn to pieces or had their organs gouged out. Cool. Truly, it was the work of a witch. Dorothy left the following remark about the incident. You foolish humans. I am a witch. Not a human, but a monster. A monster feared by all. I can do whatever I wish with you. I can even kill you on the spot. Do not delve any deeper than this. Do not approach this place. 
or else I shall kill you one and all. The whereabouts of the culprit Dorothy have been unknown since. The people are clamoring for her execution. Hmm. Understandable. By the way, that mansion in the Rebecca Mountains is in fact this mansion here. Oh. Ugh. Wow. I think that's right. I was wondering, just who do you suppose Sirius is? He called himself the mansion's lord. But if this is Dorothy's mansion, should the or should the owner not be Dorothy? That's a good point. Hmm. I feel like I'm just short of getting a grasp on something. I'd better get back soon. If you're ever bored, come visit at any time. Right. Well, see you. Oh, I know she's like, oh, I, I cannot be in there right now. <laughs> I do not want to be near him. Oh, jeez. Cool. That wasn't... Oh. Oh, my. Okay. Well, then, tonight, we'll have a wonderful party together. Won't that be nice? This sounds great. Love you, Ash. <laughs> Let's go back to our girl. Oh! Oh! Uh, I'm just kidding, I guess. Hmm. Oh, the flashback, of course. Oh, I get to... Do I get to move? Oh, it was just a still image. I couldn't sense anybody inside Noelle's room. But he's supposed to be sleeping in that room, isn't he? Hmm... That is interesting. Maybe Noelle's, like, sneaking about... Okay. I don't know what time of the day it is, at, from his perspective. It's probably still morning, so morning routine is very important. Let's see who we can check in on. Oh, Claire, hello. Phew, almost noon already. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Oh no. Oh no, not the cooking mini game. Okay, that was my room. It's locked. Nothing, of course. Oh! Whoa! It's unlocked. I didn't think I'd be able to do this immediately. No one here. Could that guy be up and around somewhere? Probably? Um, but I guess we're gonna snoop. There are many notebooks about drawing magic circles and their effects. Whoa, I keep doing that. <laughs> My bad. Nothing that looks useful. Filled with old clothes. There's a bit of food and some partially drank wine. I mean, I don't think there's anything particularly notable here. Let's go. I guess we're just gonna check every room. Oh my god, we're, we gotta capture you, bud. We put him in the bottle. I love how the graphic for putting the creature in the bottle just makes it, like, this kind of, like, a wine color. When, in my heart, I would just want it to be its little body squished in there. <laughs> Welcome back, my sweet little child. Excellent. Back to mama. Ooh, a rainbow crystal. Good things might happen if you collect a lot. Noted. So, we might get to see Noelle in this episode. That'd be cool. I was literally complaining earlier about- Well, not complaining, but being relieved that I didn't have to do another voice, but it'd be kind of exciting. Noelle. I haven't a clue. He's not in the room next to this one. Not a chance. Only I have the key to that room, and there's nobody in there. 
But why do you ask anyway? Is Noel not in his room? Uh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Ugh. That wasn't suspicious at all. Wait, what is he... Is he playing with something? What is this? Oh. Half-drawn amulets. Cool. Eh? Noel. No, of course I haven't seen him. I mean, isn't he sleeping in his room right now? Awkward. <laughs> Plot twist Noel is cooking in the kitchen. No. That'd be kind of cute, though. I mean, let's go up, see if anything's different up here. I can't think of anywhere else to go. This is so cute. Oh, <laughs> I love him. I think he's my favorite. Oh? I can just sit down? That is so cute. I feel like I'm running in circles here, trying to figure out what to do. The only one we haven't talked to is Ash, right? Oh, yep. <laughs> only place left is this. Ash, you there? Ash? Oh, this is not weird at all. Ash is missing too? Well, whatever. We go in and everyone's in my room. We're having a slumber party. Good end. Oh, just kidding. Not good end. Not good end at all. Mm-hmm. Nice. Not weird. Not scary. Okay, we're back to our girl. Let's see. For lunch... Um, what should I make? Okay, let's do curry. Ugh, curry sounds so good right now. Oh no. Oh no, not this again. I think I did it good last time, but I didn't do it perfect. And that's what's gonna get me. I'd like to think that I'm pretty good at color matching, so hopefully I can do this okay. Press enter to stop the flame. Careful not to boil it too much or too little. Now begin. Color match, color match. I'm looking so intently at this curry. Ooh, no. No. I think we did it. I hope that's good. Oh dear god, please be good. It's done! Yep. Pretty good, if I say so myself. I can serve this to the others with pride. Okay, you said that last time. And then Cizelle had something shady to say to you. You're quite good, Miss Claire. This is very tasty. That's all that matters. Okay, don't say anything, weirdo. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm sick of you. Go eat the scraps. Hmm... I suppose it's all right. <laughs> Yummy. Don't say it, Cezelle. Don't say it. Ooh, rank A. If there's a rank S, I want to get it. No, here she goes. <laughs> that looks tasty. You did well. But I'm sure you can aim for better than that, Claire. No. No! <laughs> I have high hopes for you. This is gonna be my downfall. Because I'm so scared of burning the food. Oh! Anyway. Anyway. I like this music. This music's very cute. Everyone, might you have some time tonight? What's this now? Is something the matter? <laughs> you see... Tonight is the night of a full moon. And when it's a full moon, does it not call for ghost stories? Oh dear. 
This mansion sets the perfect mood. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Ghost stories for the full moon. Huh? Am I wrong? I can't say I've ever heard of that here. Is that true? Perhaps it's a cultural difference. But I think we might as well. I'm in favor of telling ghost stories. Ah, oh, Miss Claire, you understand me so well. Oh, uh, understand. Not me, but, you know, I can dream. How about the rest of you? I'm pretty bored myself, so I'll go along with it. Ghost stories. Hmm. It's okay if you don't want to. Nothing mandatory here. Hmm. Excuse me, I said nothing of the sort. I happen to have time as well. So, well, I suppose I can participate. Why did he seem kind of offended to be left out? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Alright everyone, by dinner or so, make sure each of you has a story prepared. Okay. Gotcha. Hmm. I'll let Noelle know as well. Yes, please do. Oh, this is gonna go great. This is gonna go great. A scary story, huh? My, do you like such things, Claire? I do! Even if they do frighten me. You might not expect it, but I actually have a considerable repertoire of scary stories. Well now... Ah! Uh, or was that like a frightened... <laughs> <laughs> My bad. What's wrong? Oh, it's totally unrelated, but... I had the most wonderful dream last night! Uh-huh. What kind of dream? Oh, here we go. I went to the magical fairy tale world I've always dreamt of! Fairy tale? Oh man, I'm telling you. It got me so excited! I mean, I was surrounded by every little thing I wanted. Like, my ideal world and stuff. If only I could, I wanted to indulge in it just for a little longer. Hmm... The Witch's Heart. Huh? Oh! I was just thinking how I talked with Ash about this yesterday. Since it can grant any wish, that got me super excited. So maybe that's why I had this dream. So like, in other words, I think it's probably a divine revelation telling me, get the witch's heart and make your utopia a reality. Your enthusiasm is admirable, but look for the contract too, won't you? Yes, yes, of course! It's more efficient to look for both at once. I don't know if that's true, but whatever you say, hon. Hello, do you have a ghost story, Reggie? Glad we've got a good way of passing the time tonight. Yeah, are you bored? Aww. <laughs> oh, you're up to something. You are scheming. Hey, Ash, listen! I've decided to look for the witch's heart you were talking about yesterday. What's that? The legendary treasure? Well, good for you! But why decide that all of a sudden? Well, you see, I had a dream. <laughs> this damn dream. A dream about a true utopia, with me right in the middle of it. I was surrounded by cute and pretty things. And I was eating shortcake. Uh, wait. I actually didn't get to eat it. A true utopia. That's just like you to dream big, Miss Claire. <laughs> so, so, so. I was thinking. That must be a premonition. 
God is telling me my fate. To make that world mine. <laughs> I see, I see. So that's what you're thinking. How nice. Your own utopia, just like everyone longs for. That world you're imagining sounds quite wonderful, Miss Claire. I'd like to go there myself. <laughs> By all means, do. My utopia will be better than any theme park. Well, in that case, perhaps I'll assist you in finding the witch's heart, Miss Claire. Help from you? A researcher of witches? Well, now that's reassuring. I don't... I don't trust that, but... I love him so much I'll let it slide. But are you sure? That means you'll be surrendering the witch's heart to me, you know? Personally, I think if the witch's heart truly does exist, I would be just fine seeing it make a wonderful dream like yours come true, Miss Claire. Ash. Plus, I'd like some shortcake as well. Ash! Let's do it! Let's eat that shortcake! <laughs> oh, man. And that's how Ash and myself established... The Shortcake Project. Or the SCP for short. Cool. <laughs> that's great. Ash joined the party. Aww. <laughs> oh, man. The SCP... <laughs> not that funny. Dude. Wake up, please. I beg of you. We talked to you already. Why am I going back? You're just here, right? Ah, uh, Claire. Ash can't see me, so if you need anything, be sneaky. How cute. So we talked to Ash, we formed an alliance. Cool. Maybe serious time? Oh, serious. <laughs> no, no, please don't say it again. <laughs> I'm Claire. <laughs> no, I can't. It's not that funny, but it's really killing me. I don't know why. I'm Claire from Shortcake Project, or SCP for short. And I'm Ash. Uh huh. What? What horseplay is this? It's not horseplay. We're very serious, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> There's something we'd like to ask you, Sirius. Mm, you have a question. <laughs> I have nothing to tell you. Come on, out, out. Aw, come on. What should we do, Miss Claire? Um, let's see. Hmm. hmm. Ah, I got it. What? <laughs> Serious! Feign ignorance, will you? Uh huh? <laughs> we know the truth. An incredible treasure sleeps in this mansion. Huh? So then, Sirius. Produce the legendary treasure, Witch's Heart. For the sake of our utopia. <laughs> for shortcake. What are you saying? Which is hard. I have plenty of those storybooks, so just take what you'd like. Incorrect! Not that! Don't try to deceive us. Please don't try to do that. <laughs> I love how he's just echoing her. <laughs> I'm not being deceptive. What are you two on about? Heek! <laughs> Witch's heart. Legendary treasure. Milado did ask me something similar. But what in the world does it mean? You people don't make any sense. Milardo asked too? 
You have been living in this mansion for some time, have you not? You've really never heard... You've really never so much as heard any rumors about the witch's heart? Eh? Uh? Hmm... The person who obtains the witch's heart can have any witch... Any witch? Can have any wish granted! Any wish... That's right! <laughs> what in the world is that? We don't live in some fairy tale. Don't tell me you actually believe that such a thing could exist. And in this mansion. You dream too much. All you idiots are what? You have no sense of romance, Sirius. You don't think it would be nice if there were such a thing? Why even bother to think about it? It wouldn't even make it... It wouldn't make it exist. I love his teeth. Still, I wonder if that explains why strange fellows have attempted to force their way into this mansion. Huh? This kind of thing has happened before? Getting locked in here is a first, but we've had many intruders. Though I drove them all away. Well, now I see. Perhaps that rumor sent them here on a fool's errand. Then is the rumor a lie? Of course it's a lie! After all, I've never heard of it. And also, Lady Dorothy. She never spoke of such a thing. I think. Miss Claire, a moment. Uh-huh. Not right in front of him. <laughs> it appears Sirius knows nothing. Or he's a really good actor. Right. Isn't that rather strange? Huh? I mean, the witch's heart being in this mansion is a super popular rumor. And yet he's never even heard it. Is Sirius truly the lord of this mansion? Um, I... I wonder... Well, let's move on to the next person. Cool. That was an interesting interaction. So, I guess... Willardo? Hello there, good day! We are the Shortcake Project. Or the SCP for short. <laughs> They are so... They are so cute to me. Uh... Uh, I always really wanted to do something like that. Indeed, indeed. I aspire to it as well. <laughs> so... What's up? You see, we're looking for the witch's heart. If there's anything you know, could you possibly share it with us? Please tell us! Oh. <laughs> what was that about Shortcake? Aha, uh -huh, good ears! The thing about that is. Ho ho ho! We intend to use the witch's heart to create a utopia! A glorious paradise filled with wonder! You'll be able, and encouraged, to eat all the candy and cake you like. Just buy your own stupid cake. Once we find the witch's heart, we'll invite you too, Willardo. Let us all eat shortcake together! Nah, I'm good. I don't like sweet stuff, so I'll pass. Really? That's unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Okay, we still have not heard a peep from Noelle. Where are we meant to go? Back to my room? Back to Ash's room? Let's go to Ash's room. Nope. Noelle still hasn't woken up today, yet the sun will soon be setting. So carefree, considering the situation. Really, what kind of work does he usually do? 
Hmm. Very suspicious. I'm Spot the Difference Man. Wanna take my challenge? Uh, sure. Thanks a bunch. Okay, let's get started. Let me explain the rules. There's seven differences between the two pictures I'm gonna show you. You gotta find them all in time. If you can't find them all in time, or you pick wrong three times, you lose. Oh, great. I was gonna be like... I'm pretty confident in this until I realized it was timed. That's cool. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can move around? This is different. For sure. This... Oh my god, gimme. What? I can't... This is so sensitive. I want to do her mouth. Fine. And then... This is different, for sure. Um, are her bows different? This is different. Um... Background? This is different. And then... Got her skirt, maybe? Her hand? Her hand looks the same. The ribbons look the same. This is so stressful. I can't tell. I only got four. No, I need to do it again. No, let me do it again. Okay. If it's the same one, we can speed run the the first couple that I got, and then I can have more time to look. This is a different picture. Okay, it's the same. You. And then the mouth. This little face. And then the star in the background. This, is this different at all? No, this is the same. There's the three crosses there. Oh, here. And then the tile on the floor, maybe? Oh, that looks the same. Ah! The star. Oh, this is different. Nice. I just needed more time. That was cool. And yeah, I'm pretty amazing. Thank you. Aw, oh, man. I'll try to get you next time. Hehe, <laughs> that was cute. Bye-bye, Ash. We love you. Um, Ash, do you not have a wish you'd want granted? Naturally, I do. What? And yet you're helping me. <laughs> Is that wrong? No, it's fine. But why? Or rather, Ash. What were you planning to wish for with the witch's heart? Hmm. Well, my wish is... Let's see. To be a billionaire. What a liar. Or something. Uh. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? No, no, not at all. Money is definitely important. A wish can be anything. And so long as I'm researching witches. Besides, money is something you can never have too much of. The wish granting witch's heart. If such a thing exists, I simply want to see it. So give it your all, Miss Claire. If that wish is the one you want granted, no matter what. No matter what? Ah! I just remembered. I have to tell Noelle that we're telling ghost stories after dinner. Excuse me, I need to go. Uh, okay, bye. Bye. My wish. Claire. 
Suzo. How goes it? Found the witch's heart. Sure would be nice for your wish to come true, huh? Do you maybe know something? <laughs> Who can say? I wonder if the witch's heart really exists at all. From the proper perspective, it exists. Eh? Do your best, won't you? <laughs> well, th that was certainly something. That gave her a lot to work with. Aww, she's so cute, though. Oh, <laughs> cool. Don't worry, I wasn't asking for any. Hmm. The outside. That was very ominous. So... Okay, she's here. Hello. Uh, well, good luck, I guess. Yep, we're totally not rivals. It's locked. Okay. Oh. Ah! Red monsters! So you show yourselves again. Okay, I guess we're gonna check the bedrooms again. Oh, ooh. <gasps> oh my. Well then, I hope to see you there tonight. Okay, you got it. Oh my god, Noel. He's he's out and about. <laughs> huh. Good evening, Claire. I heard we're going to be telling ghost stories tonight. That's right! Even if we're in this situation, it'll be nice to have a fun gathering. Yes, you're right. I think it's much better than staying in our rooms alone. I'd better think of a story that everyone will like, huh? <laughs> I've got a really good one planned. Hey, Claire. Yes? About this thing Ash suggested. I wonder if this is really only to pass the time. Huh? <laughs> well, anyway, I'll see you after dinner. Hmm... Oh, Claire, she has no clue. Who are we going to? Side everyone? <laughs> that... That was so unexpected. Now then, everyone. Thank you very much for gathering on this night. Ooh... I hope this time will be worthwhile for you all. Now, before we begin... First, please wrap the red ribbons I distributed to your left wrists. Ash, um, buddy, this is not how ghost story sharing goes. <laughs> this is not a correct... Oh! Yep, that looks great. And not... <laughs> and they're all gonna go along with it, of course. Why are you making us do this just to tell some stories? It's all part of building an atmosphere, of course. This is what we do in my country when we tell ghost stories. Honestly, that's a good excuse. Alright. Head above, hands left and right, feet left and right. I, Ash Bradley, am the head. I shall sit at the head position. Cool. So, before our first story, there's some important points to go over. First, once the stories begin, refrain from moving from your seat. 
if you simply must leave your seat. There's no telling what may happen, so please, have the doll under your seat take your place. Uh... This? On to the second point. When your turn comes around, as well as when your turn is over, knock on the table twice as a signal. You don't have to be too forceful, just make sure it's audible to everyone. Third, if anything bizarre happens mid-story, please do not panic. Fourth, please do not accidentally step on or kick the doll placed under your chair. It could weaken its ability to take your place. In worst case, it could become unable to sit. Hmm. I understand losing its effectiveness, but what does he mean, unable to sit? These are all important points. Now then, all the preparations are in order, so I'd like to begin. We'll go from the left foot, to the right foot, to the left hand, to the right hand, and lastly, to myself at the head. Now we'll begin from the left foot. Noelle, go ahead. Okay, I got it. Oh yes, there's one more important point I forgot to mention. These red ribbons you tied to your wrists at the start. You must not remove them until all the stories are over and the lights come on in this room. Understood? Do not remove them. Record the story thus far? Yep. That'd be great. Okay, I'll start. Everyone, have you ever heard of the hangman's tree? <laughs> yes, the name alone is unnerving. Just as you'd expect, it's a tree for people to hang themselves from. Have you ever thought that you wanted to die? Regardless of whether you were serious, surely you have at least once. Those wishes find themselves granted by the hangman's tree. The hangman's tree requires no preparation. It already has a noose hanging from it. People who find it, as if drawn in, will apparently hang themselves just like that. Where is this tree? It's surprisingly near to us all. It could be a tree by a quiet park. It could be. A tree adding a red hue to a mountain. It could be one of the overgrown trees outside this mansion. All trees that exist in the world have the potential to be hangman's trees. But there are a few conditions for a normal tree to become a hangman's tree. And they differ depending on the tree. A tree that becomes a hangman's tree, if you step your right foot toward it, on a rainy day while wanting to die. A tree that becomes a hangman's tree if you'd close one eye and whistle as you approach it while wanting to die. A tree that becomes a hangman's tree if you approach it at 2.36 a.m. while wanting to die. Some trees have simple conditions while others are more complex, and it can depend on the state of the tree. If its branches are broken, if it has flowers on it, if it has 27 bugs on it, if it's 158 years old, if it's changing color in the fall, if there's a white paper tied to it. Complicated, isn't it? Well, when those conditions are met, a hangman's tree will be born. Oh, and there's one more important condition that all these trees have in common. That is, thinking about wanting to die. Hangman's trees will appear before people who want to die. They push the backs of those who lack the courage to follow through. Now, 
Here's what's really scary. There actually exist hangman's trees that appear even if you don't want to die. Those trees appear in your dreams. But the hangman's trees in dreams may be real or fake. Most are fake, so hanging yourself from them won't actually cause you to die. In fact, dreams where you hang yourself are said to be premonitions of great fortune. Even if they may not make you feel good. However, if you hang yourself from a real hangman's tree, it may not be possible, but you should try your best to wake up. If you don't, you won't just die, you'll go straight to hell. That's the end of my story. Well, everyone, have a good night. Oh no. You're leaving? You're leaving? Um... Yep. From there, we did as Ash said. Next in the order was Willardo, the right foot followed by myself, the left hand. Willardo told an urban legend from his hometown. I told a story I heard it from a friend a long time ago. The time passed uneventfully. Then next was the right hand, Sirius. Oh, okay, so he's still here. Well now, I suppose you're fatigued from all these scary stories. So, shall I offer relief with a not-so-scary and quite wonderful tale? Oh, a silly one! <laughs> now a silly one! I like those kinds. It's not silly. I told you, it's a wonderful tale. I get tired of all the horror too, so I'd like something different. Huh? But this was supposed to be all scary stories. Not to worry. There are a few elements of horror. Uh, this is just for fun. A little off theme's fine, right? Are, are you guys good? Ah, <laughs> uh, but the atmosphere... Well, alright. Well then, listen up. To one of my most beloved stories. Cinderella. Oh? Once upon a time. There was a beautiful girl by the name of Cinderella. However, she was tormented day after day by her stepmother and stepsisters. Cinderella, did you finish cleaning yet? There's still some dust left there. Start over! Yes, she was absolutely treated as if like a servant. Then one day... The prince of the land decided to hold a ball at the castle. Cinderella desperately wanted to go to said ball, but... Of course, her stepmother and stepsisters wouldn't take her there. And also... She didn't even have a dress to wear to the ball. He is so into this story. It's kind of adorable. Why is he so passionate about it? She was troubled and at a loss of her what to do. <laughs> where? Where? I want to go to the ball, but I don't have a dress. Oh, how pitiable was Cinderella. Just then. Bam! A witch appeared! Uh, uh, um, how will I, how will I zoom? The witch chanted a magic spell, and lo and behold, 
Cinderella was now in a fantastic dress. This is pretty great. Thank you, Madame Witch. Now I can go to the ball. But how am I going to get to the castle? <laughs> Don't worry, Cinderella. Howla howla Suzum. <laughs> this cannot be the same game. <laughs> the witch cast a magic spell, and lo and behold, there was a... A pumpkin carriage, right? Ah, stop with the spoilers. Everyone knows how the rest goes. And what part of Cinderella is supposed to be elements of horror? There was the scary stepmother and stepsisters at the start, yes? Huh? Them? Anyway, a pumpkin carriage appeared. <laughs> oh no. I think he's like... Moving up to be my new favorite. Oh no. Oh no. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, fantastic. Well done, Madam Witch. Cinderella sang the witch's praises. Madam Witch, thank you. Long live Madam Witch. Then Cinderella went to the ball and lost her glass slipper and the prince found it. And such and such and such. And they lived happily ever after. What a rushed ending. The important part was over, so who cares about the rest? Bravo! Bravo for Cinderella! It's my favorite too! <laughs> yes, yes. Moved, aren't you? A masterpiece which will go down in history. I love him. I don't know why everyone else is upset. I think it was a wonderful story. That ends my story. <laughs> yep. I guess we'll we'll finish it with Ash's story. Well then, it's now my turn. Much like Sirius, I'll be telling a story about a witch. A witch? Seeing as we're in it, it is also related to this mansion. A very scary story indeed. Some of you may be aware already, but 12 years ago... There was a mass murder in this mansion, enacted by the witch Dorothy. It's that newspaper story. By the way, did you know? About the bodies of the victims? It was horrible, that's for sure. Too much to announce to the public. But I've heard stories from a friend who was sent to the scene to conduct autopsies. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's cool. She really decorated the place, huh? Dorothy wasn't just satisfied killing. Dorothy wasn't satisfied just killing. She played with the corpses. Their organs were put on display as if it were some sick shopping mall. The eyeballs were scooped out one by one and scattered all over the ground, shining with an ominous light. It was like a banquet from hell. Truly, it was the work of a demon. <sighs> Frightening, hmm. Luckily, that incident marked the last time Dorothy showed herself before people. It seems something else took her place. Oh. A massive, hideous monster, covered with many eyes. <laughs> the Little Nightmares 2 monster? Perhaps it's the very monster Miss Claire saw. In truth, 
I don't know what Little Nightmares 2 is, so I have no idea what she means by that. That monster has been sighted on many different occasions. People have supposed it's Dorothy's pet, or something born from the victim's hatred. But I think differently. Is it possible that the monster could be the witch Dorothy herself? Don't be ridiculous. Serious. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why do you get off as a C? Oh, no. I told myself I'd keep quiet and listen, but just what are you spouting? That's beyond far-fetched. Oh, boy. That monster is Lady Dorothy. Clearly there's no way, yes? You take that back. I won't let you slander Lady Dorothy. You shouldn't get out of your seat. You'll be cursed. Shut up. Apologize to Lady Dorothy. Wh Why should I have to apologize to a murderer? Oh, shit. Oh! <gasps> Apologize, 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 apologize! Apologize or I'll throttle you! Damn. The doll. Stop it, serious. H hey guys, don't fight! Oh man. <laughs> cool it, serious. Kill you. I'll kill you. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a mess. I wasn't expecting all this. Too much. That's too much serious. Ash, are you okay? <sighs> cool your head a little. Shut up. Why are you all siding with him? Ah, the ribbon! I should have never entertained this boss. I'm going back to my room. Serious. I hope you all get cursed and die. Oh my... God. Um... Let's finish our meeting. Please take your seats, everyone. I wasn't expecting him to blow up like that. Head above, hands left and right, feet left and right. This ends our meeting. Please remove the red ribbons. Cool. That's cool. Um. Phew, that surprised me. I suppose Sirius was a witch adherent. Witch adherent? Adherent? I don't know. <laughs> Someone devoted to a witch, of course. The scarier something is, it tends to pick up those sorts, right? Like some strange religion. Ah! Ugh, scary. It was nearly killed by a murderous subordinate. Well, it's probably for the best he calms down on his own. Yeah, this was... this was rough. I wonder if Sirius is alright. <laughs> and on that note, we're gonna end it here. I was hoping, you know, this little meeting would go a lot better. But, um, I guess that's it for now. And in the next one, we'll get to see, hopefully, if Sirius is okay. Anyway, thank you so much if you made it to the end, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!